I'm Kaina Rinka, but most call people just call me a mud dragon, and this is my Draw My Life video. I was first found off the northern coast of France in 1841. You can find me in oxygen-rich environments within sediment layers such as beaches or near the tides or in water depths up to 8,000 meters deep. I can also live as far north as the Arctic and as far south as Antarctica. I can also be found dwelling in other organisms such as sponges and algae. I am a sexually reproducing organism and can be male or female, and a fun fact, male and female kinorinkas look exactly the same. When I was first born, I started off as an egg. I was small and segmented with 11 parts, and then I gained two more segmented parts through molting. Some other facts about me are that I'm segmented, I have bilateral symmetry, there are 217 species of me in the phylum, I have more than two cell layers, I don't have a circulatory system, and I'm a protozoan. I usually eat algae or other organic material in the mud and my mouth is actually located in a conical structure at the apex of my head. Unlike some other invertebrates that are similar to me, I don't have external cilia, but instead have a number of spines along the body. I use these spines to move my, by withdrawing the head and pushing forward. In research conducted by Adu, we were able to find these two phylogenetic trees. Tree A is a traditional phylogenetic tree based on morphology and embryology. Tree B is a newer molecular-based tree but is created from rRNA. In tree A, I am more closely related to cnidaria, and in tree B, I am more closely related to annelids. This is where I fit into the phylogenetic tree generated from the data matrix. Based on the data matrix, my closest relatives are the annelids or the earthworms. And this is where I fit into the phylogenetic tree generated from the CO1 taxon. And in the tree with the CO1 taxon, my closest relative is cnidaria or the corals. The outgroups for both of these trees are periphera and the CO1 taxon tree differs from the data matrix tree because the tree lists all animals and radial symmetry. Also, the tree further classifies the animals based on categories such as whether they are deuterosomes or protozoans. Our tree only shows how each organism relates to one another. The tree that we used from the journal article most likely looked different because it had a much larger sample of organisms than we did. It's a much more accurate placement of where I belong in the phylogenetic tree. I differ from earthworms because I cannot regenerate and furthermore I can either be a male or female while earthworms are hermaphrodites. I don't have a circulatory system but earthworms have a closed one and finally earthworms and I both respire through our skin. Thank you.